Hello and welcome to Tykes TV. Good evening. Um, right, guys, it's all live again. We're going to have another uh, debate, another discussion. <clears throat> if anybody in chat or was watching at the minute, just can drop us a comment saying everything is good. You can hear me, you can see me, all the usual stuff. I'd be appreciated. Uh, so we've had an international break. Uh, ready in the red corner. Hello. Uh, nice to see you again. Um, yeah, we've had an international break, so I think we're already for football to domestic football, that is, to get going again. Um, what's going to happen tomorrow evening? Uh, can you find? Thank you, Carlos. Yeah, it's uh, Fulham away. Uh, Joseph Farm, can you? you? Uh, hi, hi, Sean. Nice to uh, for you to join again. So, like I was saying, oh, Neil, loud and clear, cheers. I've just heard the interview from the new guy. I like the sound of him, to be honest. Alan Staples, good evening, Neil, loud things. Uh, all good, thanks, mate. Uh, like I said, I wanted to get a, a, a bit of live going. Hello, coming through, good. Appreciate it. So, we've got some uh, a few new faces on. We've got some on, on uh, previous lives before. So, what I want to do, I just want to keep it going, uh, try and get some regular content out of here for you all. Uh, so we can have a bit of discussion about manager. Uh, I don't know if you've heard him on official club website, speaking very good English. Uh, good evening, Thomas, TVHG. We had some, uh, it sounded pretty pretty well, uh, fluent English. So I can't see uh, language bar uh, barrier being a problem. Um, it remains to be seen how long, you know, contract to miss it over, but we'll have a bit of discussion about that, guys. S sorry. Uh, so I appreciate you for coming. So what we're going to have a uh, when is Luke coming back? Uh, I don't know which Luke you're on about, uh, so if you just can drop us a, uh, a message in via comment, Ethan, I'll uh, be able to elaborate because we've got two, <laughs> got two Lukes. Um, so what's uh, happening? Uh, so players came in, it's coming, um, and to be fair, I don't think we're in everybody's, you know, in, even in betting at one point to, uh, until Rome is broke. I think at the weekend, we're possibly looking at him. Seems down to earth guy to me. Yeah, he does. Um, in the corner, yeah, he does. He, he, he does seem a down to earth guy. Uh, done a bit of research on him and seeing what he's like. Uh, he's IFK Gothenburg. Seems to be very knowledgeable for a 36 year old. I mean, back to respect for out. Looks to have a good record with Sweden under 21. He does, yeah, top of league, top of their group, league group. Um, he also did well at IFK Gothenburg as well. So, I meant the local normally does the match day vlogs. Uh, Ethan, I don't know if you're aware, I'll come back to it, uh, but uh, Luke has uh, done away with the channel, so it's me and Luke Goddard what are co-hosting it, uh, so we take on board all the previews, the fan cams and stuff like that, and working between, we're trying to get in contact with other uh, fans, both in this country and abroad, especially now we've got Poye from uh, Sweden, we had a couple of uh, people come on from that so match day vlogs I don't think that's going to be happening as such uh, it's just getting time to do it upload it uh, people work commitments and things but we, we do do the fan cams or Luke does the fan cams and some of the guys on VA move them well to come round but Luke who did the vlogs uh, Luke Goddard uh, sorry Luke Roby he um, basically had not you know for personal issues, put it that way, personal circumstances, he wanted time with family and things like that. So the channel was uh, going to cease, cease to exist unless we could get someone to take it over. Uh, me and Luke Goddard had a bit of discussion, see what we could do to work around it uh, with his work and try to keep it on, keep the channel alive, uh, as much content as, as we can, different avenues and discuss and stuff like that. And all put, all put, all being well, keeping these live uh, videos going just on a regular basis if we can. Different days it determines, but Friday's looking good. An hour, an hour and a half, two hours. It just depends what art flow of conversation goes. Just bring up to uh, any news what's been happening and that. Uh, so that's the reason why the vlogs and that. Uh, this is Andy, by the way, Neil. Well done. Before. Yeah. I know, yeah, I know, mate. Yeah, just rung a bell with in the red corner for that. Ah, yeah, yeah, I and D are it, mate. Getting some back in starting lineup. Uh, JP, Ethan. <clears throat> okay, and will Luke uh, ever come back? He, as far as I'm aware, no. He's, he's still on the fan cams and 
and, st- and stuff like that. But uh, is the channel like, nah, no, we'll not be doing that. Um, he'll not ever come back. But like, um, don't find Cam's previews and stuff like that. He'll still be involved in that, but he'll just not be running the side of uh, the channel and all the uploads and all the editing and things like that. He'll still be a guest. I know, please type TV back on, keep the show going. Uh, cheers, Keith, appreciate it, mate. Um, yeah, it, like I said, it, it were hard work to, to start with, to be fair, because they're all editing stuff. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff behind the scenes, uh, equipment and that, what I had to get sorted out and, you know, programs and software. And it's one of them we like walk before we can run. Um, I think I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, go, I'm going into a fast walk at the minute. I'm not, I'm not exactly running, but uh, we're getting there. But I would just try different avenues, and this is one of them we would do a live and get people engaged in Q and A session, basically, just ask questions, try and answer, have a bit of debate, have a reminisce, <clears throat> going back and all all sorts of things. So it's all you know, keeping engaged with our guys because end of day it's all as club. Plus, we've got some other fans as well from other clubs will will join and we've been alive and. Uh, we've had Fulham fans on, uh, Coventry, Birmingham, Bolton, Celtic fans. So it's, it's a, bit, a broad mixture. Anything, you know, all to bat football, but predominantly it's about Barnsley. But uh, look, if you all just want to talk about football, any other topics, what's going off at the minute, we're all here, we're all in a community, we're all in a forum. Let's let's go for it. So I'm just going to go back to some of the comments and that. So that's one reason, uh, sorry, Ethan. So, yeah, going over uh, Puyol. Um, what can I say about him, really? I'm just trying to, not to repeat a lot of stuff what's already been posted, uh, but um, IFK Goffenberg, he managed there uh, with a similar like us, young kids, not a lot uh, in transfer budget. Managed to do well. Uh, won, a, won a cup with them. Left, and when you look back, uh, we've got, we've got a, another video coming up. Uh, did one with Craig. Uh, that video it it, te- it tells you all about uh, Craig's going into stats a bit. Really, what um, if we're even unlucky of uh, what creating chances and not really putting them away. That could be one of his downfalls here because we need to start creating chances and putting them away. Um, we have got the players. I believe we've got the players to be good enough for a mid-table championship uh, side. You probably agree. We need obviously we need a bit more quality in certain areas, uh, but that's what it's all about. Uh, this new guy will come in, his guy's assistant coming in, uh, Joseph Langman stopping on, so that's got a bit of a consistency there. All to help this guy out because to be fair, he really does need it. A 36 year old, uh, although we need to back him as fans, I think the players as well they need to express themselves a bit more. Um, Put a step up to Matt basically because I think some have been underachieving. I'm not having a dig at any particular player in general. Um, granted, some players have been played out of position under previous manager Marcus Shaw, but also I think or I know that he needs backing in January by the board because if you're going to be bringing a, a new head coach in, a new manager. If he's going to be coming in, he needs backing up. He needs he needs help, lad. Um, he don't officially start until Monday. Training, so Joan Lauman's taking a full game tomorrow. Um, if you go on the uh, band's official website, I'll come back to some comments in a minute. If you go back to official website, uh, it is a video on there. Uh, does his assistant comes across very well, very passionate. Um, people say, "Oh, yeah, he's going to say that because he's part, he's part of this over." Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's a, it's a big challenge for him as well. So I want to prove something to his son and uh, probably a test for his son, to be fair, considering where we are in the league, um, his win ratio. So he's got he's got a lot, uh, lot, lot on his hands at the minute. Pabs Jackets, bonjour. Yourself and Luke are doing a great job. Keep up good work. Cheers, Pabs. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. All comments and that. We take him all on board. We read through them. I try to, when, uh, when comments get added on YouTube, I try and reply back to as many as we can, uh, just to engage. Because you've took time out to uh, watch a video, you took time out and you, you put a comment on or your own thoughts. And I try to reply back to as many as I can, um, just to just to engage you on not being you know 
disrespectful. I don't like that. If, I, if I've not come across it as yet, it's just from, I'm literally playing catch up uh, with work commitments and lifestyles and stuff like that. But I will get around to them. So any comments you've got is uh, uh, appreciated. Appreciate it. Uh, Danny, uh, hi Neil. Having listened to the new coach and assistant, my initial gut feeling is better than the shot. Yep. BRG is at least looks serious and intense. And Spanish last sounds decent. Yeah, uh, that's the impression I got as well. Excuse me, I'm just going to have a drink. That's the impression I got as well. Um, it come across very, very well. Uh, fluent English. Um, I'm hoping that transfer uh, gets through to players. It's got, you know, is in my eyes when we see other video I'll put up with Craig a bit uh, later on. In my eyes, is that what happened at Gothenburg for whatever reason? Swedish FA must have noticed something about him to put in charge under twenty ones. And if he's if he can bring best out and young players, and we all know how many young players we've got here. If you haven't watched it, please go and watch his short clip. Not now, obviously, because you're watching me. <laughs> but when this ends, uh, go and watch uh, the, the short uh, clip he's got uh, done. It comes across very well. Um, it talks into camera very well to fans. I'm not going to say everything, so I want you to watch it. And you can tell he's, he's passionate. And without sound disrespectful, Marcus Shop it, it seemed to be a bit of a struggle. But he understood a, he understood a question and then answered it and didn't dilly dally or all like that. It was very people say yeah it was scripted and stuff. But he still looks, you know he's in a different country. He's got yet to meet the players. So for stuff like that, you've got to respect a guy for him. And like I said, he won't mind number one or number two. But listening to him, and now is here, we back him. We've got to back him. Back him, back the players. I know we're us as Bounty fans, we will. It's all it's all you know, bored. They need to actually step up now and say, right, what do you need? This is what we're gonna do. Bang, 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 get it done. Okay. Uh in the red corner, wonder if he has an uh, input on this tie tomorrow. I know he said he's leaving it to Joe. It'd be interesting, but um, Andy, uh, what can I say? Uh, I think it'd be interesting to see team line up tomorrow, how it comes out. Because looking at a uh, new guy, he likes to play the four at the back. I press, I tempo. So it'd be interesting to see. I know he said he won't get involved as such, but we're going to have a Zoom call and open to meet players before we went on coach today. Obviously, he's going to be watching game. He's going to be watching game and making notes and, you know, in discussions with everybody. As you had a chat to players, you'd like to think so. Just have a, a word with him. Obviously, help Joe, Lalman out and out. Give, give him a, not a heads up, but just give him a bit of a backing, a bit of reassurance. Um, what players go and do a bit more than express, express, express themselves a bit more, knowing that there's new book in charge here. I want to be gaining that side come Swansea. There's a lot of questions like that in it. Um, hmm, will he? Well, won't he? I'm saying he's had a word with Joe, but I'm thinking he's left him to sort his own tactics out. But we will shit. wait and see when uh, it comes in. He needs back in January for transfers. Some will leave the club. I uh, yeah, needs to be a replacement. Yeah. It'd be interesting to let uh, for your guys who. Uh, if you've messaged in comments while we're here, um, who you think is going to be going and who would you like seeing coming in? What positions would we like seeing coming in? Then we might have a bit of de debate and discuss about that while we're all on here. So players who you think might leave or show been interest shown in and the players that you'd like to see or what areas you'd like to see strengthening. So we can have a bit of debate on that. Someone might see something different and we'll, we can have a go on that one. Sam Sprague, all right, mate. How are we going, Sam? All right, mate. Alan Steeples, looks like Carlton Morris is back tomorrow. Yeah, I read, uh, where you were it? Put it on website or were it football level on Twitter, something like that, saying that all being well is going to be, well, being squad will travel down. Will he be on bench or will he start? <clears throat> it all depends because we've had this two week break. Anderson, will he start? Again, he, he got rested, um, uh, real game. Said two weeks off, so will he be coming back? It could be. It'd be interesting. Be interesting. Uh, Sean, assistant video 
he got asked about championship experience. He said when he was a kid, he played PS6 football manager, was playing as a kid, Lord Barnsley. <laughs> and I felt teams to pick you play. Yeah, why not? Why not? Danny, I think he'll end up somewhere uh, in between Ishmael and Shock and might either keep us up or keep us up or at least give up for the future. Let's wait and see. Yeah, there's still there's still um eighty-seven points, I believe, to play for. So there's, there's still a fair bit to play for, isn't there? Uh, it all depends. I mean, one thing I, I'm, I will say, and uh, your guys have been knowledgeable about it on here as well, they're not, you know, is that don't expect too much too soon. It's, it's coming, it's full of away, Swansea and Peterborough. So you've got, you know, games thick and fast. This is what, this is what I'd... I don't, I don't want to, but then again, we don't know all the circumstances. Before the international break to get sorted out, but we're taking the under-21s, uh, Sweden under-21s in Ireland, and it's come over here kind of thing, so he's done all that. There might have been discussions, there might have been a, you know, we've had to uh, pay some up to Swedish FA to release him, so it might have been a stipulation by Swedish FA. The club's hands might have been tied for that, so we've... As much as what we're like saying about the board doing this, doing that, uh, what is the, the, the choice and the new? But we had to wait and see. Uh, the hands were tied from, you know, Swedish FA kind of thing. I don't know. Is he now? Uh, unfortunately, you know, it'd been interesting to see then if Sweden under 21s would have played the week before, whether it had been in shape after that one in Ireland, and then it probably had a week and it might have been different. He's probably had to tie a few things but, uh, back up in his own country. Uh, we him come in straight from Ireland. He might have, you know, might, might be another thing because it's only just come today where, well, yesterday, sorry, because he did discern his uh, preview where he says we're open to come down tomorrow before lads went to coach, which should have been like today. So, but probably things getting all sorted out in the back room, weren't they? And I see Joe Lowman stopping on, like I said, to bridge that bit of a uh, connection there. Sam Sprague, I think Collins will leave and maybe Alec. Ah, oh, do you think Collins will leave then? Really? Wow. Mm. Alec, yeah, I think I think Alec will be on his way post international now. And I do believe in the last window in January, not uh, August, but in January, I believe they were linked with Brighton. Brighton over Albion. But we may post international now, I think even more so. I think. I'm hope I'm wrong. <clears throat> I'm hope I'm wrong. I think Collins will leave as well. Interesting, Matt. Interesting, Sam. I thought players. I wanted. I wanted. Thought Collins would have been there. I thought we'd been in some more, but maybe we'll come down. And I think. I think it plays. Why I think it will be interesting. Danny Conway. <clears throat> I bet he won't uh, put up with passengers including Woodrow, who should be relieved of being captain for his own good. It'd be interesting. Um, I know that he's got credentials as on developing young players. That's what he's always worked with, young players at IFK, Gothenburg, and obviously under 21s at Sweden. So to hear him talk is on the eye pressing, eye tempo game. And if he's a strong manager that he is, it comes across when you when you see him. I think that's what it needs. And to be fair, I think, would you take captaincy off of Woodrow? And it probably relieve that bit of pressure. Uh, give it someone like an Elik at back. Um, because after that, who would you be looking at as a as captain? A captain material. With, uh, last season, it was Moe and then Saul Bauer. Then you could have like such as your Woodrow and then your Elik. But... With Mowat and Solba are no longer being there. You, you're looking at a young side, so you, you need to take overall picture. Then, if you were taking the captaincy off of Woodrow, who would you make that? But it's a good point, uh, Danny. Um, make sure he gets, you know, it, it the ground running and he shows what Gaffer is. In the record, Andy, um, I think Alec Freezer, Arme will go next transfer window. I've heard he wants a Sweden under 21 player as well. Don't know how true that is. I think Alec will go. Yeah. Freezer. I think his contract's up next summer. And Ham, yep. Yeah. I think call them three possibilities, to be fair, Andy. Uh, if he wants to read under 21. 
he's going to know Swedish game. He's going to know Swedish leagues, isn't he? So even if it's not a Swedish under twenty one player, he's going to be know he's, he's going to be having contacts in via. You'd like to think so, but in, in, in his own country, he's going <clears> to <throat> he's going to have that insight into that league. In that, in, I know we go a lot with databases and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, if he knows the league and he's come from there, he's going to have some knowledge. So it might be an unknown that we never heard of before. But why not? I mean, we've got Vita left back. We're not even, you know, getting game time here from Bayern Munich. We should be building relationships up with teams like that, young players like that, quality. You need and it, it, look. I'm I'm just surmising you're going to see him come in. He probably will do it. He probably will do it. Um, let's have a look in record. Sean could be one point of uh, safety or three points or seven points after Saturday. Yeah, it's it's one of them, and I mean, the thing is, like now you've got we've got three games in a week. We've got Fulham tomorrow, Swansea Wednesday, Peterborough Saturday. Then you're going into December. You're going to be Christmas fixtures. Then you're going to be having FA Cup coming. Bad weather, frozen pitches. If summer cancelled, then it's going to be a backlog. So it just needs to be consistency, consistency. And I think that's what it will bring. So it all depends. Like, of course, it does. It all depends on other, other side rounds, what they're going to be doing. But we just need to go out and concentrate on the sends. We look after his own, his own uh, tasks, what we've got to do. Then I would have to that, yeah, bonus. Martin uh, Morris, uh, you have eight games before the transfer window opens. If you're still in the bottom three, do you think the board will go back and keep up? Keep up with good work. Neil from Millwall fan. Oh, cheers, Martin. Appreciate that, Millwall fan. Thanks, mate. Um, whew, if you're bottom three, do you think the board will back him, keep him up? I think he's got to, to be honest, Martin, because it's fair choice uh, to bring him in. And if a, if a bloke's coming in, it doesn't matter what age is, 36, 46, 56. Any manager what's coming in, you need to back that manager up. It all depends what has been said into his contract negotiations and stuff like that. But if they've like said, yeah, you'll go out and do this X, Y, Z, you'd like to think he's going to get backed up. And if not, I'd be, I'd be a bit pissed off to, because she's broken promises again. And I think it's a critical one, this as well, because I can see the fans... Not turning so much on the players and the uh, and the manager, not just coming, but on the board, because you can't keep going round through managers, managers, managers all the time, because you've got inconsistency. You need stability. Otherwise, what a foundation you're going to build it on? And people will say, "Yeah, look at Chelsea, they about that." Heard that. Yeah, but Chelsea also back the manager by millions and millions and millions. Yeah, so there's a bit of a difference when you no know, respect to players or manager what, what comes into Barnsley. It's, it's a different kettle of fish when you're on about Premier League and you're on about stuff like that. And I said it in another live before. You, for me, you look at looks. I mean, Martin, you'll know your, your rivals were West Ham. You had David Moyes in, yeah, he's, he kept him up. Short term, letting go. Pellegrini came in. He squandered millions of pounds on players. Didn't do. Went. Moyes came back in, and he's. If a strong enough man to assess the league, sort it out and deal with it. So, you know what I mean? It's like, it's all right going out and saying, yeah, go spend, 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 spend. But all, you need someone who knows the, 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 the transfer system and the the league as well. I mean, championship, it's getting harder and harder. I mean, you, you know, he sends trying to get out of League One like we did. That's getting stronger and stronger as it is. But when Premier League clubs are coming down with parachute payments, it's making such such clubs like us even harder. We've got to develop players, sell them at a profit and try and reinvest it to keep going over. We've always done that. We've always done that. But what we don't want to get into a bit of is just like letting them go for peanuts. You're not going to get anywhere, are you? You're not going to get anywhere. Nice to hear from you, Martin. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks. In the red corner, Andy. I think Walton won't be happy being number two. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised. Uh, he's still hanging about, to be fair, and there's no interest being shown in him. I mean, probably, you know, the, 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 might be. Might be interesting uh, in the lad. Will it, will it affect him morale-wise and that? I, oh, who knows? You'd like to think not, but how long are you going to be number two? It all depends what's going to happen there as well. Um, Danny, 
I guess we must have uh, something about in coach 321s. I still feel the owners should be sell up and go as their no ambition for successful and selling players. Danny, yeah, spot on, mate. Um, I, I think Swedish FA, they're not going to, you know, put someone in charge of the under 21s. So I think they've pulled a bit of a blinder off here. Um, and it's not me sucking up to a board or like that. It's just saying it. I think they've done well. Not, like I say, it, it, what my first choice, I think I would have gone for a domestic coach or manager. Uh, when the rumours were going about them, we were going for uh, Mecklen coach and then Hans Wolf. We knew we were going to go back that direction. So when this name come, and then it'd been like, like linked same time as Struber. So it must have been on the on the running. So on the shortlist as such, just making a you know making it concrete. Uh, sell up, will the sell up and go? Because we're part of a portfolio, aren't we? Um, look, it's it's a business. I get that it's a business, but there's a way of doing a business as well. Not uh, <laughs> not just keep. Selling players for decent money and not really proper investing the money. I know it's not just investing money in young kids, but it's going out and buying that bit of experience as well. You just can't keep developing players. Otherwise, we might as well just be in under 23 league. You need that bit of experience in the league, especially the championship. I mean, you're coming up against some quality, quality sides and you just can't keep the youngers out of here. And if all tells, I don't want the young kids what we're trying to come through and develop. I don't want their confidence getting knocked. Because <clears throat> if that, their confidence gets knocked, they're never going to improve. It's, it's going to take you eight. They're going to go for an extra note in transfer. If they'll go to another club, they'll express their sense, they'll play better, they'll confidence will live here, and that player will go on for like, <laughs> millions. Yeah. So it's a, it's a catch-22 one, that, in it? But I, we've got their own ambitions, like a set board. Uh, they've probably not done things correctly have a trying I don't think it's helped me to a lot of PR things that's been going off my own, my own opinion and it's going on and off at pitch but um, yeah we'll go into a bit of debate about that but yeah got my own opinions on that but uh, I think I think things could have been handled a lot a lot better a lot better put it that way Jim Jams hiya Jim Jams uh, yo, you're well I'm fine mate um, I had a long Long week shift um, at work, but yeah, Friday, Friday in a, a pale ale. Um, I will be remain positive on the new manager appointment. This is huge risk for Bar from Barnsley. Yeah, if we get relegated, we won't get out of it. So many good teams down league one. I agree, mate. Yeah, he, it's it's key now, but he he just get back like we've been on about uh, before. But he gets backed, he gets uh, supported. And you, 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 you just can't let him struggle or, or you know, or sink. It's going to cost us uh, millions just for going down and millions how much we paid out for, like, shop and to Swedish FA for release clauses and stuff like that. League One, there is some good teams in. It's getting, it's, you know, for, for championship, what well, we're hard, but League One, you look down there, you've got your Sunderland Dupes, which is shift Wednesdays. You know what I mean? There some right teams in there and it's a struggle for them to get out really good teams i mean sunderland wow massive massive club but they're struggling and it is hard it's getting harder every every season sean kurt and uh, i think vito will go back in january if he does not get the same so yeah i'm surprised that they haven't been recalled unless we've got to wait for january uh really surprised with vito not getting even off his off his sub lunch mate i mean jesus christ Amount of games what well, we we wanted someone like that, but look, uh, new new head coach coming in, he might see things differently and give him a go, because that's what he he believes in, that's what he's done before. So I'm hoping that um, on training on Monday when he takes it, that he assesses everything and goes in with more or less a blank canvas. If you know what I mean? I know Joe Lyman's still going to be there, but I'm hoping he's going to be his own man, blank canvas, and say, right, I'm going to do X, Y, Z, and take it on from there and do it how he wants to do it. I mean, obviously, players have got to step up and have got to back him, which I think the world of. We've got to do. We've got to do. Uh, Steve Presley, or Priestley, sorry. Do you think he'll bring Kane back in January? Um, Again, just going back to what uh, Sean said via uh, Steve. I think it all depends on what he assesses when he takes over on Monday. 
there could be a few players. I mean, would he, would he fit in? Will have Benson, Palmer, Kane could pro- He could do. He could do. Where's he going to play Styles? Where's he going to play? Bre- you know what I mean? It's it's going to be interesting to see what what formation and tactics wise he's going to he's going to play and w- would it suit him? Because you've got to think about that as well. If he if he goes to far at back and says he plays a, a four three two or well, four three what whatever, you've got to think about what players are going to be missing out and up front. Will we need as many strikers? We might have to get such a, you know, a striker, someone like Freezer, what uh, Andy said earlier on, or uh, Adebayo. Yeah, we've got young Aidan Marsh, who's doing well in uh, youth setup. He can't get a look in for George Miller out on loan, knocking goals in for Walsall. We've got Carlton Cole, we've got uh, Allaire, we've got Azaki, we've got Woodrow, we've got Cole. So we've got an abundance of strikers. It all depends what he's going to end up playing, and will fit into his his kind of system, his his way of uh, playing, but. Uh, will he bring Kane back again? I don't know, mate. Um, this moment in time, I said no. He might just monitor him for Oxford, but then again, he might surprise us all and say, Yeah, bring him back. He's going to fit. That's the kind of player I need in my, my team, my formation, my tactics. It'd be interesting, but it'd be interesting, but Damien Talbot. Oh, look, is okay. Uh, yeah, mate. Yeah. Uh, front three of Ole, Morris, and Mudrow will keep us up. Yeah, and then you could argue that there's the Zach Avey who's been knocking him in. And again, Damien, I'm going back to what were uh, things of here, good, good points, what you've raised here, mate. Uh, it all depends what formation he's going to play. Is he going to play three up front, one up front, two up front, one up front, two off him? It'd be interesting to see the team line up when he. Did you? Well, set team line up for tomorrow, which I think your Lauman will be more in charge in that one. But come Swansea game, it'd be interesting. Be interesting to see a lineup before Swansea game and what his intentions are going to be, whether he's going to be his own man and do that. Uh, Glenn, one of the Sweden under 21 strikers, Langer, plays a man new and actually played in first team. If you had game, wonder if we might take a cheeky loan offer for him in January. It'd be nice, I can't see why not. Um, Langer, yeah, 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 I've heard about him. It'd be nice, it depends on all kinds of relations, what he's built up as well, I suppose, uh, with clubs and player. Uh, does that player like playing for uh, player? If it's if it's, if you know, because you get some players what are like really like a coach and the player and one another, it might that might be a selling factor as well. Coach could sell club to him and say, yeah, come here, have this one going to do, I want to develop you. So it's all about the man management side of it as well. It'd be nice, it'd be nice, but then you could flip it and say, well, our board don't really like loan players because we're only developing for another club. Which is true, but at the end of the day, what you're supposed to do them? Go out, you're not going to go out and buy him because what's it going to cost? It's going to cost a fair bit, and our board will not be exactly splashing cash. So it's cash money too. I mean, look at DK last last year. We got him on loan with an option to buy him, then it brought it down because your wages and this sort of a. It'd be interesting, but why not? If it, well, it's all about keeping the championship this season now for us. Keep us in championship this season, then reassess, reevaluate, come to summer, and then do what he's got to do. But this season is about keeping us in championship. So for me, for taking people on loan or all like that, look, well, if it's a short term fix, do it. Get us out of shit that we're in now. Get us climbing up the league, and then we can start making plans. Yeah, who knows? He might already have a short list of players. What he's identified, he might have watched games before and already identified. So, be interesting. Yeah, be interesting. Danny Cooney, bring back Ashley Ward up front. Well, what a player, Dan Ashley Ward. Yeah, Ashley Ward, Bruce Dyer and all. Get Bruce Dyer back. Some great players, John Henry. Yeah, yeah, Andy Rammel. Yeah, David Curry. Get some of them players in now. Of fitting straight well then. Uh, Danny, fans at Oakland need to be the 12th man now and start getting the place rocking. Yep, uh, going to be a bit hard with West Ham shut down, but yeah, I take your point, mate, but uh, I think that's what he alluded to in his uh, comment as well, uh, in his, if you go on official website. Uh, if we can make that atmosphere, you know, buzzing, and you know, which, which we will do, it's, it's, but it's got to work both ways as well, and it? The players have got to give something to 
get on and start going. And it's it, it, it bounces off of one another. But we can keep going and keep going and keep going. But if it's not happening on pitch, it's, it's even harder. But if we can see lads putting a tackle in, lads give, you know, gain it some, it bounces back, it bounces back. And again, I, it's, for me, it always comes from top. Everything comes from top down. So, board, investing team, they get West Ham sorted out, make it a fart to sort well, and then it's going to be bang, bang, bang. It's going to be everything's going to be buzzing. It's going to be that bouncing, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, it needs to be 12th man in this, definitely, mate. Andrew Sharp, uh, need to get uh, back all loans in January, probably apart from Miller selling for a nominal amount. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that, but would the point on the on loans getting them all back in January would would that mean well, that they would be automatically started or getting them into the first team or would you would you rather have them? Good point, Andrew. I, I know what you mean. But would you rather have them out on loan, getting actual football game experience, or would you rather them come back and just be under twenty three, just getting not as intense football? If I, if if it makes sense. Um, would they be up to scratch coming to Championship for the situation that we're in now? Do we need that bit, bit of class? Um, apart from Kane, would others, such as you like, young Matty Wolf doing well out on loan? Uh, Jack Atkinson, another one. Would they be... What can I say? Would they be sorted to come straight in, not straight into the team, but into the match day squad or even on the summer's bench to come in. Uh, bear in mind, we've got someone like a Vita who can't even get on pitch. Again, it might change. It all depends what Gaffer sees. He might come in and say, we'll go out on loan. Uh, watch his reports on this, get us all information. As a look and might say, oh, do you know what? Pff, I don't think he's going to be up to speed yet. Keep on loan. So it could be it could be a question he's already looked at, to be fair. Uh, but it's a good point about Andrew. Like a pawn, Woodrow needs to drop him. Um, Drop him. And he's resting. And he's resting. I think he's doing too much. And again, I'm not making excuses for Woodrow. Probably you probably think oh, I need that's a can cop out of that light, but um I think he's doing too much, lad, and there's too much expected of it, expected of him. And by that what I mean is that he's taking free kicks, he's taking corners, he's taking penalties. He's doing captain, he's dropping deep, he's going up front. And I'd be questioning, saying, well, why aren't a manager or coaches or training methods, why aren't that being worked on in training? Why have you, why are you allowing him to do all this in on, on pitch? Oh, because uh, I'm just shocked, I think, well, oh, because he wants to do that. Uh, yeah, you want manager, mate. So you tell him this is what you want to do. You can't keep expecting it on, lad. And it comes to a game... Where if we're arguing with fans and fans were gaining, we'll draw back. We'll draw frustrated. I don't think it intentionally goes out. I've, I just think there's, he's had that much pressure on him. That much pressure on him, it's affecting his game. I think it's doing him a favour, but just relieving him at captaincy. Making club captain, but not necessarily making match day captain. Because for me, he should have 11 captains on pitch anyway. But you know where I'm coming from with that. <clears throat> but. Um, what can I say? I'd dress him. I'd relieve him of the captaincy, of a word, and relieve him of captaincy because he's he's been a good servant to the club. He could have gone several times to over over, you know, could have left his buddy on. And he wants to play. I want him at club. I want him knocking goals in back of net. And I think if you just take some pressure off him, don't be expecting it all on him. You probably see a bit of a diff different player. And again, I can go back to it might be it needs man managing better. We someone like uh, sorry, unlike someone like a uh, shop who would just tend to be you and I tell his man you'll do all of this. You, you can't you can't take weight at shoulder on him. Unfair for him. And that's probably affecting him as a as a player. That's my opinion. Knees dropping. Yeah, it, probably. Yeah. Probably. I'm not disagreeing or agreeing, really. It's it's one of them where You've got to look at all situation. Why has his game just suffered so all of a sudden? Uh, Sean Curtin. Oh, you drop for Morris from the front three if if he plays up front. It's an hard and that because 
I've just been on about dropping Woodrow. Uh, so if you're not dropping Woodrow, you'd go with Woodrow, Morris, Zaka. If you're dropping Woodrow, I'd go with Zaka, <laughs> Morris, Cole, possibly, uh, Freezer. You're going to have a strong bench, put it that way. <laughs> Yeah, whoever comes on, it's it's an hard and that if he plays only two up front, who's you gonna be a front two? Questions and dilemmas here, but it's a dilemma for the manager to take on board and it's a nice one to have. Rather than be struggling. Uh Ari, I what's your opinion on the new manager from Rastrick, lads? I don't really know about my mate. Don't really know about that one. Ian Jackson, make him a club captain. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that. I think making club captain. Um, just take some pressure and relief off it, lad. And you'll probably... I'm, I'm, I'm surmising, but you'll probably see him play better, express himself more, because he's allowed to be going out and play. Play his game. He don't need all the hassle. Um, did you ask for captaincy? Well, that's down to manager turn around and says, well, unfortunately, mate, I'm new gaffer in charge. This is where the manager needs to be strong and get hold of the dressing room. You're going to have like, your influential players in the dressing room and you're going to help them look up to influential. But I think if the manager goes in strong and he's going to say, right, this is what's going to happen, a clear directive, a clear way of going, this is what we're going to be doing, lads. People are buying to that. But you also need to follow it through. You just can't give false promises, false hope. Yeah. Plus, also see what's going to get worked on in, on training pitch as well. Uh, Ian Fretwell, Woodrow needs to play up front. Uh, that's what he needs. Yeah. That's what he needs, playing up front. He needs, he needs support. But what he's doing at the minute is dropping in because there's nobody here to take it up to him. So, yeah, I agree with that, mate. I agree with that. Danny Coney, if Carlton Morris gets uh, fit 100%, <coughs> he could be the main man to, um, he's a terrific player, in my opinion. Yeah, they were unfortunate, very unlucky, uh, Carlton, to pick that injury up against Coventry for this game, wasn't it? Uh, with DK going back, I think he could have cemented more or less a, a first-team place for him in, in the Carlton. Yeah, Carlton, I've got it, Pacey, good player, very good player. Uh, I like him a lot. I know under Ishmael they were in and out of side because you, I, I think we all can agree on Ishmael here. I don't think anybody knew what front three were going to be from one game to the next. But well, that was a beauty about it. We had the option to just keep rotating it, keep rotating it. DK, Freezer, Woodrow, uh, DK, Woodrow, Morris, Morris, Freezer. Options were there, weren't they? Kept altering it all the time. Plus, we had, I could have used five subs as well. That made a bit of a difference, so he could fetch uh, more on as well. Ian Jackson, how about Mads as captain? Mads Anderson? Um, I would, but I'd also uh, like to... I would, but if we can keep old Relic, I'd give it Elik. Mads, another good shout. Um, when you start looking past that, I think it's going to be a bit hard. Styles, you've got your Britain... You've got Collins at back, and again, I like it. Me be me, I like a, a captain as a defender or as a midfielder because we can see the play. I think if you're up front or in goal, you either shouting, voice travelling at full length at pitch, or if you're up front, you're having to turn your back away from and talk down to the rest of the teammates. So I think someone in the middle, via can dictate and can see the game and read it better. Like I said, you should have a lot of captains, but this is where you could have a Woodrow as your club captain. And you're Ellie Coyer Anderson as a, I mean, you know, salty tart. But at this moment in time, it just seems to be a bit of draws taking a lot on his shoulders at the minute. Good call, though, back again. Chris, uh, I have to say, mate, you're looking like a natural after a nervous start. Or oh, some TV. Cheers, Chris. <laughs> you're doing well. Uh, pat on the back. Come on, you Reds from the Palgant Reds. Devon, I think we'll stay up. Appreciate that, Chris. Yeah, like I said daily, our. Uh, if I was to walk before you can run, but at that moment in time, I think I was like literally crawling before I could even walk at time. So, yeah, it's um, 
more and more it gets into it, it just gets slightly easier. Just remembering, just get everything sorted out. Uh, like I said, my editing and lighting and software and what absolute shed loads of stuff to do. I don't want to say something else, but we shed loads of stuff to do. Uh, but I appreciate your comments. It means a lot that uh, knowing that it's coming over as good content. And uh, yeah, it, it was a bit nervous because I'm not sure that this had to get recorded, that had to get done this way. So it was just like learning. And I would like learning myself. I'm still learning now. Still learning now with layouts and formats and stuff like that. But I would just me and Luke, uh, God, I want to get as much content out as we can. Just just for such as like such as yourselves and appreciate everyone who what's coming on, contributing with comments and watching and likes and everything like that. I appreciate everyone in you. Um, it means a lot, and we just want to keep it going. And I, I had a good comment too. I forgot who it was. I apologise who it was. I don't refer in this uh, live. But someone came out and complimented saying that it's great to see videos on lives what we do because it's like a, a fanzine kind of thing it's like we can be critical we can be very objective positive negative try to be positive moving out but say it for what we see and we don't like just make a, a bad situation out of them like brush over it oh no what's happening turn like be oblivious to it we try to be as neutral as we can, but as fans, just got to call it as it is. Just got to call it as it is. And it was a great uh, thing, that same ball, more or less like a fanzine. And, yeah, it was. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Chris. I appreciate that, mate. And it's all about what do you think of uh, the defence? Um, I think we've, we've pretty covered in all in all areas of defence, to be fair. We've got plenty of numbers here. We've got Ben Williams, Jordan Williams. You've got Elick, Kitchen, Anderson, Moan in and out. You've got Civic. You've got Britain, who's supposed to be right back, but was playing like wide right. So I think defence, we're, we're pretty covered in defence. Uh, Apple Army. Um, in defence, but he's been, been played in defensive midfield for some reason. So I think defence, uh, we've got Vita, the left back, you're not even getting a look in. I think defence is pretty. I know. Position at league, but it don't look it. But defense is pretty solid. It just needs reassuring, reassuring up and a good strategy. And I think this guy will do it when he comes in and looks at it. He'll make it concrete and build because he always said build from build your attack from your defense. Every good spine, every good spine, and build from that. Yeah. So I think I don't think defense is one of the issues. I think probably left back, depending on what's happened to Vita. Uh, midfield, I'd like to see a bit more uh, strength and uh, solidness of their maturity and attackers. I think we need to have, reassess that and get get short. It sounds a bit harsh, or thing, doesn't it? That, but I think we need to get some players out and get a bit more quality in there. In my own opinion, you might agree, disagree. Be interested to see what you see on that one, Harry. Danny, uh, well, sir, Chris Sackleton, you are doing a great job, Neil. Like an actual now, <laughs> cheers, Danny. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, I, I try, uh, and it was, I'm just trying to be you know natural and just call it as it is. There's no point calling someone when it's not. Uh, I think one at la one, one at games last season, someone asked me well, what man at match, and I said, Well, you can't really ever man at match. And, well, why not? It's never been done because I think called team played average now. I could get man at match, man at game, but for man at match, it you know. It, Want uh, want a spectacular? They all played an average like seven, so it won't stand out performance. Uh, just call it as you say, didn't it? Really. Uh, so I appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Ian Fred. Well, as far as staying up, we can't do it by twenty odd games left, and we we'll, should pack it in. I think, yeah, I think everybody's a bit back of his mind with what's going to happen, what's going to happen. But I think the next three games is. For me, not to panic, because we're going away at Fulham. We're up against Mitrovic, so I what can happen there. So you've got Mitrovic, you've got Swansea, and we all know what setup they're like and the, the players. And you've got Peterborough away. So when you when you look at that, new, the new guy was going to be coming in for you. Yeah, he ain't safe. got a really hard enough task as it is, you know, considering where we are in the league and two wins. So, all I can say, and you might agree, is not to panic. I know 
those who are watching the game will not panic as such. But you just got to be techie, you know, a bit like me when I first took over this uh, channel. Walk, don't run. <laughs> and I think that's what it'll do. But I think what stands in good stead is that he's got a good record at IFK and under 21s. And he's brought in his right hand man, who he knows. So it's not as if he's coming in like a shop where he didn't. He couldn't fetch anybody's own uh, background stuff over due to these and this over. So I think that could be a, a, a turning point as well, a telling point as well. Uh, so going back to comments again, uh, thanks again. Uh, Chris, uh, I'd drop Woodrow if he'd uh, too much pressure, which has affected his talent, a very good striker. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I agree with that, mate. Yeah. Um, is, is, uh, and I think it's, I think he's had a lot of pressure on him for the last few months, to be fair, if not before end of, se uh, end of last season, which such as your DKM, but, but it's just relieve that pressure off him. I, I think you'll see a different player on him, me. I think you'll see a different player. I will. Gabriel Clark, uh, out Neil, out Gabriel, you all right, mate? Uh, second box, Chris says, I appreciate that, Chris. Uh, Gabriel, Chris, and um, Ari, and Ian, and everybody. Uh, Gabriel Clark, you are looking like a natural now uh, in this source course role. Cheers, appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, and it means a lot hearing it from such as uh, you guys out here watching it, taking your time out, watching me, contributing. You could be doing other things and that, but now I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Really do. Thank you. Um, do, 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 do. Chris, uh, try to smile a little, mate, only pulling your leg. <laughs> I tried to smile, yeah. I'll, I'll smile even more if uh, we can get an hat tomorrow and uh, come away with three points. I'll, I'll be delirious, me, mate. Uh, Shanky, <laughs> uh, maybe Moon needs a long loan to the championship at Selvig. Yeah, I agree with that. I think um, I think Moon needs to go out on loan. I think we're asking too much in him, personally. And I don't want Lad getting affected by it. And, uh, when you see other players what have gone out on loan, I can't, I can't understand why not. I know that it's supposed to have had, well, ease. Uh, shop supposed to have had uh, disciplinary issues with Civic, but at the end of the day, I think some has been a, a miss in, in, in back there for a bit. But yeah, I, I, I think he needs to go out. I'd sell Vic. Um, possibly, again, it all depends what role is, or he might not even feature in a player's style of football, you don't know. It'd be interesting to see who was going to get go, let go from club. Uh, Ian Jackson, there are a little bit of, uh, oh, sorry, there are a little bit of staying up starting to show through light at the end of a tunnel. Yeah, there is. There's a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, against Chef United, we're three out Derby, it was three two, some at goal of the year. Derby. I think it was more uh, an expression of players, a uh, bit of release. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's two colours, it sounds a bit of a thing, but, but I think it, it came, the game against Hull, I think the, the, the fault started coming back in again, we were defending, defence, um, you could see Ed score a bit, you know what I mean? The worrying thing was, is the um, second half when Joel Oman, uh, Joel Oman come out on his own, a good five, ten minutes before the team, I'm like, mm, I don't know, there's some Something might have happened, I don't know, I don't know, but when he came out on his own, his second half. But, yeah, there's light to end it tunnel. There is light to end it tunnel. Um, we've just got to keep the faith, keep the faith. But still plenty of time yet, still plenty of time, and we're not a million miles away from it, a million miles away from it. Um, Ed Turner, thanks for taking on Tax TV, always love it. Always love it tomorrow. Um, or oh, tomorrow... We could hopefully see a team grafting for the young gaffer. Um, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. I think in players we should be doing it any anyway. But if you've we've well, got a couple of players coming out, even complaining about training methods, it makes you wonder what's happening on in, in game. Um, but yeah, I agree with that. Thanks for taking on. Not a problem. Uh, like I said, I didn't. Me and Luke, God, I didn't want it to just end, and we like we had talks over it. Um, what we'll, you know, who, um, what we're going to be happening? New direction uh, channel, trying to get fans from other channels on. Uh, like I said earlier, when Poya came in, 
uh, put a, a, a short video on another five, six minutes. If you want to see that, it's a, a video where I put up on Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. I don't know what days because I've been on late. Um, but I put a short video up and we've got a couple of comments on there from some people in uh, Sweden, obviously Gothenburg fans. And they were like speaking out of them. So trying to branch out a bit more and, and tagging people in that who hopefully could contribute and gives a bit more insight into this guy. Because again, it, it's very no about him a bit in, in Sweden. So it'd be interesting to get a bit of content and feedback from other. And it seems to be all good. It seems to be all good. And hearing him talk and speak and uh, listening, take questions on board, it, it seems to be really handling it well, to be fair. Really, I'm very impressed with him. Very impressed. But uh, uh, thanks, Ed. Appreciate it, mate. John Tyler, do you think we should recall Herbie Kane in January? Uh, it's been asked that before, uh, John, but I will answer it again. Um, I don't personally think he will. But then again, it all depends what player is coming because he'll want to know what players uh, he's got at the club, who's going to be out on loan, have performing, they'll have all stats on him like we do. Uh, sometimes it happens on social media. We'll say all these players are either playing at the, you know, the the clubs where they're out on loan. So it all depends what kind of style formation he's going to be playing. Would he fit in? Would he keep him out? If he's going to come back, is he going to start this team? Because it would be very hard to fetch someone like ever came back if he's only going to be sat on bench and not really using him. He might as well be still game match fitness, match time. And ever came and joined it at minute at Oxford, what I've, what I've been seeing. So it could be a win situation for Oxford. It could be a win situation for us next season. He might come back a better player. Or you know, a sharper player. It's an interesting question, but I think it's all going to down to manager, head coach. I said manager, I mean head coach, but it's just how it happens. Uh, will the new boss be at Fulham watching tomorrow? He's not at Fulham. What I'm led to believe tomorrow, he is uh, leaving back to Joe Lauman. Apparently, he's having a Zoom call with his assistants and like having a, a brief and a get together. What the what if you go on the official club website, there's a, a short clip and he's more or less wanting Joe Lauman to deal with the matters, not really get much involved, but I think he'll get involved. Whether tactics formation will alter, I don't know. But the new gaffer, Hoyer, will be taking training on Monday. Um and his first game will be Swansea on Wednesday. So that'll be interesting to see what's gonna happen there, like I said before, with lineups and um Formation and players is going to be always going to be involved in that. At Turner tomorrow, uh, we should hopefully see a team grafting for the new gaffer. Yeah, you'd like to think so, Ed. You'd like to think so. Um, a lot of them will want to put the sense about and you know, make manager aware what you know, this is what I can do. I think we saw a bit of that against Derby with a went out and express the sense, but then, like I said before, the game after it all made a sense to peter off. Um, so it'd be interesting. Um, it's already expressing the sense for new gaffer and putting grafting, but when, when we get back, we need to make that consistency and keep it going. Otherwise, you, you can't be one game here, one game here, one game here. You need that consistency, especially with the position we were in at the minute. We need it and we need to get on a run. Get a run, get a bit of a break, get confidence back into the side, and you'll see again, we keep going back to Woodrow and expressing the sense. You'll see the confidence of the players being happy of playing football because it's not no worse from playing and not going your way. Get that win. And besides against Derby, but at the end of the game, everybody, what it meant to everybody in the stadium, the players, Joe Lauman, it was such a big relief. But it was just a shame we, didn't, we, couldn't, we couldn't follow it up. And that's what we're just missing. <clears throat> um, Ian Jackson, welcome to the YouTube Creative Community. Stick with it and it'll get normal. Cheers, Ian. Appreciate it, mate. Um, I don't know uh, if you've got any YouTube channels or something like that, uh, but yeah, it, it it is. Well, it is. It was hard. I'm just learning, learning, learning all the time. And like I said, I'm still learning now. And we've been doing it for a, a few weeks, probably about a month or something. But it's new avenues once you do, once you do like live streams. Uh, work, you know, commitments and that where I can, it's just like learning, getting stuff out for you but appreciate it and I think more times you just do it, keep on doing it again, content out, you just learn by that, don't you you just learn by that thanks, uh, appreciate that, yeah Steve Batten uh, is Morris due back tomorrow he is, he's gone down uh, whether he's going to be 
in the team, in the squad, on the bench. I don't know, uh, but well, I did read reports that it, it, you know he was he open to start. I don't know about starting big game, but it's, it won't be bad for him to come off the bench, would it? And score winning goal for us. Uh, I take that all day long. I take that all day long. But uh, yeah, he's, he's back. He's back. Sean, uh, you I time to meet at later. You I time to meet at later, Neil. You were at, I'm, I'm assuming that you're going or you've, you're having to go. But yeah, no, no uh, problems there, Sean. Uh, we'll uh, meet later. You Reds, keep your faith, mate. Chris, uh, I think the manager we've got in place is the right man for the job. Work with you in place, so I think we need to all get behind him. 100%, mate. 100% agree with that. He's got a, a record, a track record, with uh, developing and uh, expressing. Uh, what I can believe as well is like high tempo and high pressing game as well. So I think this is going to be key in this. I think this is going to be key in this. So I'll be well we can see because I think on the shot we took a step back, we were trying to play football and tempo or go in and stuff. So it's going to be a big turn out for players, big but then again when you look at players what we've got or what we have is we did what we've got under Ishmael anyway. So it shouldn't be such a bigger a shock. It's probably game the match fitness sharpness and fitness uh back up to that to that intensity again. Uh because like I say, he's not gonna to want to fail, he's gonna be going out of here to prove a point. Which can only transcend for other players. So yeah, we've got to gain time. And players as well, they need to like buy into what he's is saying, what is going to be putting across his tactic side, his philosophy. They've got to be with it and they've got to be bang, 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 bang. And again, that'll transfer and on, on onto uh, into stands. We as fans will see that and we can see what this, what he's trying to achieve and do. And players will be doing that and we'll be so it's a win-win situation. Players gain us so much to cheer about. We're cheering so um, so it up, keeps up in the tempo all the time. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be good atmosphere. Good, good atmosphere. That's what we need. Uh, good point. Good point, Chris. Gabriel, um, it wouldn't surprise me if home go up the season, only to once again come back down the season like Norwich or York between. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate that um, teams like that, like such as Norwich and Fulham's. Just came back consistency, but then when you look into Premier League, like I think it's any league like now to be fair, I mean championships game a bit like that, is that if any club, I mean, go up from championship to premier, you literally first season you're hoping just basically just to stay up. And after that you're hoping to uh, build on. I mean you look at Sheffield United, uh they had it same under Wilder, they had a, I think they finished ninth or tenth in league, and then they went down, but then when Wilder's wanting back in again, you're not getting back to you there's only one way to go. And you look at your other clubs, and I go back to such as like your West Ham's and your Leicester's, you know, they've, they've, they're never going to, I say never, probably the world or eventually, but we're not going to compete to such as like, I mean, look at Newcastle. We're in a different ball league now with money they've got to spend. But then I then question that and like, well, where, where does financial fair play come into it? You look at Chelsea, they've tripled some of their prices of our season tickets. Which is, it's supposed to be working man's game, but how the hell are you as a, a, a season ticket holder going to shell out three and a half grand or three, just over three grand for a season ticket? Really? That's not including you travelling away and stuff like that. So it's getting harder and harder because it's for getting more money, more income coming in. Look after your fans, look after your fans, put three coaches on for, for fans to go away. £20 a ticket for Premier League for me, or in this league, £20 away ticket. You know, free coaches. Get atmosphere, get 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 it buzzing. I mean, Christ almighty, we've had COVID, how long we're at it game for. Off, you know, do something for fans. Do something for fans. Because it's the fans what make the atmosphere, make the game. Yeah. Well, yeah, I went on a bit of a ramp there, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, your basic thing more about film and light knowledge. But that's how hard it's getting, though, isn't it? It's getting to a stage where no matter what league you join in or you get promoted from, it's about stopping up in that league and then trying to build on it. But it gets harder and harder every year. Harder and harder. Uh, Ian Jackson, uh, what do we know about the new assistant coach and what position did he play in at the time? Well, the new coach is from Spain. He's 34. 
three years old, I do believe. Um, I think he's, he's, he's trusted by... Uh, go on. By Poyer. I think he's trusted. So he's not going to be bringing just anybody who we don't want. Um, again, it's 33-year-olds... Uh, his native is in Spain, Japan, or Sweden. Um, it's don't really know much about him. Uh, just going through some stats here. I ended up in Sweden because I was working for a consultant company called Soccer Services Barcelona. At that moment, we were doing coaching education for coaches. We had a coach from Sunval called Joel, and he was in this location. Two years later, coach from company wanted assistant coach. Of a position, so it's been like um, stats and stuff like that. It's gone into like coaching work. Can't find out about him as his playing background or like that. But he's been in the consultancy, uh, obviously training with a coach up. So it must have been about a bit fluent in uh, Japanese leagues and uh, Japanese. Let's have a look. Spain, Japan, and Sweden. Prize was rival. He's only thirty three. So we someone like Poyer fetching him in, he must rate him I I regards for his coaching abilities. Um whether he's been set, like a youth set up or not, I don't know. But I can't see him just bringing anybody in. Uh, he's worked with him before, so he knows about him and have a work. And I think if you're coming into another job, you need a good number two at side in you. Uh, so proof will be put in, mate. Proof will be put in, but I don't that's all things I know about him on, on that one. I travel from Devon to watch uh, my team, so every game is away for me. Wow, every game. I'll be there tomorrow cheering on the Mighty Reds. I would. Uh, I think we can get uh, get something. I would. Do you know what? I hope we do. I hope we do it for them. Um, but I'm thinking, if I'm being realistic, I took a draw. I took a draw now. Uh, I think it's going to be two two draw. Because. I can see them scoring, but I've just got a feeling that if Isaac is on on his on his day, he's pace and that. So obviously being realist, you know, my heart's rolling my head here, but my heart was like, yeah, three points because of well, what we did over well, season. We went down, got an amazing result, but different circumstances yet again in it. Um, oh, appreciate that, then, Chris. Well, I'm travel from Devon to watch my team. So yeah, you'll you'll know what I'm on about. Whether it's going on about there with uh, expenses and stuff like that, club and that, or clubs, not not just David Vincent Barnes, or not, but I think clubs in general could do a lot better and help out. I mean, you look at some of the midweek games as well, and you see some of the fans. It's like wow, people got to take time off work to go for midweek games and stuff like that. Travel involved in it, unbelievable, mate, unbelievable. So yeah, top man, top man. Jay, you should get the uh, stream yard to get others in the live like the channel used. I've got oh what's it called now? Nah. Is it restream? I think it's called restream. Um yeah, restream. I did get Luke Goddard on, but uh he's it, it's been busy. So it's always it's always nice to do that at the minute. Just to because we're just testing more tracks. Uh, there's been never been many lives done, uh like a QA session. So it's just, but yeah, good point about, good point about, but some of could get look into it. Um, let's get over on like the channel you used to. Yeah, we've got Zoom because we also do uh, match previews and stuff um, when it was locked down. But now lockdown's done. We're doing fan, well, looks doing fan cams. Uh, there's a preview. One's just been done this evening. It should be on now. Don't watch it yet because I'm still on here. But watch after. Um, so you're watching the Barnsley website. What well, now? Rephrase that. You're watching the preview. What me and Craig did for Fulham. Then you can watch the web, uh, Barnsley website. I'm only joking. It's uh, just we put a preview on there with Craig on. Um, he'll enjoy that. Good, uh, good, good guy, Craig. Uh, but yeah, we, we, we're doing previews and stuff like that. He's tr trying to get fans from other uh, championship sides. I did try to get someone from Fulham. Uh, we're hoping to get on for yesterday, but it didn't come to fruition. I'm looking and trying now to get fans on uh, a fan or fan cameras kind of thing. Someone from 
Swansea and Peterborough. So if any of your guys out there know anybody uh, who wants to come on from an opposition side, uh, or it could be, you know, if you know any fans really, if you're wanting to guide them to Tykes TV, drop an email, drop a message, uh, Tykes TV 1419 at gmail.com or message me anywhere, then we'll get we'll get their opinions as well. Because I, I always find it interesting me when, when when you play someone and you get a, a you get a fan on from opposition side and they'll come, they'll, they'll actually like say, yeah, you were unlucky or, you know what I mean? It's not just like bounce fans like saying, not oh, referee with this sort of, they'll say it and then we could agree. So it's always, always nice to get another side, uh, uh, opinion on that. Uh, Gabriel Clark, just a thought for a channel, maybe do a zoom preview for three or four or even five guests in addition to you. Uh, and look, God, I sometimes like kind of a look. Yeah. I, like I said, if if anybody wants to join me, uh, anybody wants to join me on a Zoom um, for a, a preview or an afterthought game for half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that, because then I upload it and put it on channel. If anybody wants to do a preview, um, drop, drop me a, a comment or drop me a message. Um, like I said, tax TV 1419 at gmail.com or message in here and I'll get back to you. Direct message me um, on Facebook as well, Tykes TV on Facebook. Direct message me on there. I'm just plugging all the social media things so don't feel left out. Yeah, if, if this fan cams happens out back at East Stand or I'm old school now at Brewery Stand, if I will remember it. Uh, but yeah, if you want if you want to do a preview, what we normally do is like we'll get one... You know, if you're new on channel, we'll just go through. Uh, this is what we're going to be saying. We're going to be reviewing about this game. We might brush brush up on manager or whatever. We'll do that as soon as everybody's had a go and they're comfortable. And then, yeah, because what we want to do as well, what we're thinking about doing is like having a player rating review. Uh, looking into doing that as well. Just have a, a rundown on how we performed on that day, marks out of 10. A bit like what we're doing a paper, but it's like what you actually, you know, see, what, what you think. And it's not like saying, oh, you were shit because you were, um, you, you didn't play this. It's like you got to, well, I thought you could have had a better game and going, not into depth, but give an explanation why. So I'll say, I don't know, uh, what we've been on about Woodrow, oh, I think he's been at a poor game, should have been dropped to this other and blah, blah, blah. So that rating out at all, I'm just saying this is an example. Oh, he's only got a rating of uh, six and a half out of ten. Oh, what were he's going about? Well, he, he was tro dropping too far deep, and he won't pull it. He won't make him runs of us. So you go in a bit in depth, and after the time, we kind of a rough uh, debate, and it's like what you might say one week, week after, it could he either improve or go down, and reason behind that. So it's not a slated play. It's just like getting a, an overall view of player how it went, and then possibly look. What would you do any different? And never a bit of discussion after that. In hindsight, would we have done this? Would we have done that any different? Would we have brought someone differently? So it's, we're going to be looking into that. But if you want to get involved, then please message. And I ain't got a problem with that yet. Yeah, it's um, it's the more we can reach out to different fans, different uh, people on streams, uh, previews, anything to do with this spread the word it just get bigger and better more ideas it just gets bigger and better yeah so it's just like getting involved and stuff so I yeah I take it on point back to Gabriel mate yeah not a problem not a problem mate Chris uh, under fair pounds plus drink and four on top that's my cost for every home match it's worth every penny it is mate but I still think that club could do a lot for you um, and fans such as like you you know what I mean I mean I don't know if, I mean, you can answer, I'm, I'm surmising you're a season ticket holder, but for, 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 for me, I know it's a business and that, but for me, if you were travelling all, all the way back up and you've got even a more, I mean, we've all got his opinions and thoughts and that, but for me, you've got even more of valid, I mean, you're coming from Devon, mate, you've got even more of valid reason to ever, as I said, praise or grumble, but it might be copyrighted about that, but that's a grumble and praise. Um, but to have your say, we all should have a say and his own, own opinions. 
Well, that's that's some going back, mate. That's some going back. Um, Ian Jackson, the new head coach. <coughs> sorry, the new head coach is no info about his playing time. Could this be the first coach in English league not to have played as a pro? He may have things. That... Um, it could be, but. If he does business on pitch as a coach, would it matter? Um, I'd take, I'd take your point. But I set a record, then, wouldn't it? Imagine that in Guinness Book of Records. Barnes being in Guinness Book of Records. First coach wants to play a competitive game, but he's got to promote to the Premier League. I'd take that all day long. But, yeah, good point. Good point, Ian. Uh, Danny, at least he looks like he's something about him. Shot body language was abysmal. Yeah, he... <sighs> When I listened to some of the shop's interviews, it was a bit of a struggle, a bit monotonous. People say, oh, you like monotonous, but I try not to be. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've only heard uh, Poyer's first one today and Ari comes across as very confident. I don't mean arrogant, I mean confident. He answered the questions. Yeah, people said the script to me, but he answered the questions. He looked in camera, he directed it, he had a very clear vision. And that, for me, as a fan, I'm thinking, yep, yeah, that'll do me. So I'm hoping when he gets in that dressing room that he, that the players actually sit back and like say, yeah, do you know what? Buy into this guy. Because if someone's going to be like talking, well, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be, um, uh, going to be doing... You're going to be switching off at half time as a team talk. He's going to be going in. He's going to be like if, making sure he's heard. So for me, yeah, I agree with that, Danny. Ian, yeah, Brewery stand. I tell you, Brewery stand. I tell you, mate. That was my first game there. Um, we played. We played West Ham in the. Oh, what do you call it? Time. It was League Cup. But what? I think it was Milk Cup. Milk Cup, 80, oh, blah, 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 80, 80, 86, 87, something like that. We're in Milk Cup. And I went and I had to stand and for a plastic uh, beer crate, plastic beer crate with brick wall is, stood on plastic beer crate and stood up at the side of my, uh, my mates and stuff like that. And I'm watching. And from then on, uh, I've got a scene ticket there. And then ended up going in Ponty End. Uh, I don't know if people will be able to remember it. Uh, old John Smith's Bitter Brewery on top of uh, Corrigate Sheet on top. And I used to be up in top right on corner there. And I actually saw... But I remember Carl Tyler playing for us. So when he got sold for £1.4 million pounds to Notts Forest, all of a sudden that, I call it, new stand, E stand, were getting built... And to this day, I still think some of that money went to pay for that. I'm not complaining, like, but I know they've got grants and stuff like that. But I used to remember uh, being in uh, Ponty End when that new stand, East Stand, were getting built. And on a Saturday, workers would stop and sit on girders and watch a game. Oh, bloody hell, not a bad job, that is it? I'll do a bit of a time of a time in here from a Saturday and watch a game in the afternoon. Uh, security. Uh, happy days, happy days. Brewery stand, yeah, mate. Uh, Glenn Robertshaw Benjamin Boone would probably come to, uh, on mate, saw his channel yesterday on Tax TV where you in his chat he did a live about the new head coach y Glenn, yeah I did mate yeah, um, I just uploaded my video about the new coach it was about two, ten after in the morning, I just put it on it was only a short video of mine where I put on and as I came off and I publicised it it came up, Benjamin Boone so I went on and managed to go on I said, hi, it's Neil from Tax TV, uh, blah, blah, blah. And he said, oh, it, it sounds a decent bloke, actually. And I watched some of his videos, it was very good. Uh, Benjamin Blue says, oh, I'd love to get you on. I'd love to get your input on. So I'm hoping we can work some time and have a discussion. But, yeah, because uh, I know he covers championship. And, and that's another thing I won't, won't mind doing as well. If I can get, if there's enough and he's on, we'll go through championship fixtures and be interesting to see predictions for, like, tomorrow. Uh, just a bit of a fun. Um, and just to see, you know, who's playing tomorrow, what score predictions, and see who's going to be right. And just, just a bit of a banter at every debate. Uh, but yeah, Benjamin Bloom, mate, yeah, I did uh, manage to get on. So yeah, I did uh, 
get uh, mentioned on there. So, yeah, we're all good. I thought not bad being famous because he's just gone under 20,000 subscribers. Yeah. Cheers, Glenn. He's an Ipswich fan. Uh, I have a soft spot for Ipswich from the 2000 playoff. Final great day apart from the final score. Yeah, it'd be a bummer, wasn't it? Like, but it were, it were a right day, to be fair. Happy days, happy days. Apart from, like I said, the score. But yeah, old Wembley. God. Happy days. Ian Jackson, yes. Uh, who knows? He will uh, be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of them must gel. Yes, there was a cat there. There was the atmosphere. It was uh, atmosphere because it was standing room. It were a board, so everything was good. Everything were uh, everything were good, and that's what it's all about. And it? it's it's for fans and it? it's the atmosphere. I mean, you have got someone like uh, Chris coming from Devon. It's it's all for fans, isn't it? I mean, he's made, I mean, Chris is making journey up from Devon. Spending hard earned cash, so when he comes up here, it's got to be it's got to be catered for, any for fans, yeah, it's got to be catered for. Uh, how about a review of all classic matches with people who was there? Exactly. Uh, Sunday mentioned that to me. Um, I think we need to get something going. Then, if I do a poll or something on uh, Tax TV, or drop me a message here. Again. Your guys were coming out with uh, good suggestions and, and like Gabriel one about Zoom and if you want to get involved and things like that. Ian, if yep, yeah, not a problem, mate. If you want to uh, message me directly, um, drop us an email or up like that. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll have a review. We'll have a, we'll have a session about reviewing a, a classic match, like a blast from past, uh, about reviewing a classic matches with people over here. Because you could have like, a, we, we do a live stream. Uh, me and you, or me and whoever, whoever's got a classic uh, uh, tale, and then we'll go for it. Because there must be, there must be loads and loads of different people's memories out there. Not necessarily all about the same game as well. We could be going back to 70s, 60s, even if we've got any people in there. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I was born in the 70s. I'm just, no, I'm not telling you. Isn't it? But uh, classic examples Southampton versus Balance FA Cup. I'd love, I'd love for you to go about that, mate. I would. Um, so, suggestion. Right, then. So, for you guys what are in stream now, we're going to be watching a bit later. Get some comments in about what you'd like content wise regarding reviews like Blast from Past. And if you're available or free, we'll sort out a day and a time what's going to be beneficial for us both. And we'll go through a, a, a game. So we, you can say, you know, tell your version, tell your what happened uh, for day, for game, some memorable what stuck out, um, things like that. I mean, I remember, just going back, the last one past, I remember when we played West Ham, I remember the team boat, uh, the team coach called off at a chippy on Dodderf Road, Shaw's chippy, because we're on way back to uh, London. Yeah, short man. But the advertising is chippy, Anna. Three fish and chips, please, if you want, and I appreciate it. But now, um, and I remember him going, and it were in, and, and I'm like, oh, what's that? And we're all getting out to coach, and we're going down to chippy. We're a massive one, coming out with fish and chips about 18 times. I'm like, bloody hell, how much that cost? Must have a right pack on there. But yeah, probably not as good as yours, mate. But yeah, uh, Glenn, did we win 5 2 of the League Cup after extra time? What's a part thing? 87 free kick. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, we'll contact you on Facebook, Dip. Uh, it's Neil. But yeah, no worries, mate. No worries, Ian. No worries. It was Glenn. It was. And I've got that. Oh, I've got it on DVD somewhere, but it, it were a bit grainy. It were a bit thingy. Um, DVD, that, that game at Upton Park. It was. Were it 87? Oh, I won't fire out. I, I think I said 86. I won't fire out. Free, better for it was, it was, mate. See, just saying, it all comes good. Yeah, it was. All ah, right, 87. Wow, well, yeah. Uh, Ian, yeah, contact me on Facebook. Come, contact me on Facebook, mate. That'll sort all that out. Chris, um, you've got some good ideas, mate, and we're all behind you. 
Glad you had the balls to take the channel on. It's a great channel. And during the COVID, people looked forward to the show. Nah, I don't apologise, Gene. You're all right, mate. It's all right. Hey, I've been called worse. <laughs> I've been called worse. But no, it's all right, mate. It's all right. Ian. And it's good. It's good. And I like this. It's banter. It's good. It's good. Not uh, not a problem, Chris. You, you're all right, mate. Um, like I say, it, it, it was a bit daunting at first. Uh, like I said, it was me and Luke Goddard. And I took on the editing and the uploading and the software side of it and all that kind of stuff. And cameras and microphones and lights and monitors all over the shop and about what your guys don't see. And it's just, and someone came up with comments and said, what about a backdrop? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll have a backdrop. So it's just like getting a backdrop. Um, just getting things in place. Just getting things in place. And like I said, it, it's all coming together through COVID. Yeah, it was, it was poor. For everybody, everybody involved in the country, uh, not not great. But like I said, we're coming out of that now, slowly, surely. There's still issues in the world and that, which we all, we all can relate to. But what we wanted to do is come up with new ideas so we don't get uh, in a rut kind of thing. So like I said, blast from past, player reviews, uh, getting a, a, someone new in comments here on a, on a preview, do a one-on-one. Uh, five, ten, fifteen minute preview about a game coming up. Um, then, if you like it, you, you know, you, you want more in it, kind of thing. Then we'll get you involved, and because it's all about engagement, fan engagement, and I'm, 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 I'm happy to to do this. I mean, you know, it's in his blood, and it bounds. It's, it's in his blood, and although I work uh, shifts and stuff like that. Uh, full time. I still, you know, I'm I'm taking my time out to do this. Not getting, you know, I'm doing it. I'm not getting paid. You know, it's all it's all for your guys. But in the same respect, I've got to appreciate what your guys you're taking time out and contributing and and uh, coming up with comments and suggestions and engaging in 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 chat and watching me. You could be doing other things, but I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. <clears throat> and such as your guys, what keep coming on. Uh, you just you just help you just help us out as a channel uh, for algorithm and we can keep it the content going. It's not it's not it's not dying. It's it's slowly getting better. It's getting bigger. And we just want to keep up with new ideas and engage in such as your. So I appreciate that. Appreciate that, Chris. Uh, Glenn, uh, lol, keep on the good work. I'll keep watching and supporting the channel. I appreciate that, Glenn. I really do, mate. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, that mate. Um, it's such as new people, new new subscribers. We've got we had a few on from like I said from Sweden, and it's just engaging them kind of people, and all being well that can spread. And I'm wanting to spread this channel out as well to other teams in Championship, because we're going to play them all in a way. But it's always nice to get a bit of banter on that side coming on as well. So I just want a different uh, different approach and different way of going with this. Uh, Ian Jackson, how about uh, celebrity ex bounds of player, super fans, Dicky Bird example? Um, it'd be nice. It's just getting uh, whether they come on uh, for their time, whether they want to come to a fans forum or whether we just want to be a uh, fans channel, sorry, uh, be neutral and not really get involved in stuff. Um, I'd like to get uh, some ex player on or someone, you know, some celeb on, but it's, it's getting them to come on. Um, but just to have a short interview I, what I'd like to do I'd like to get older uh, Bruce Dyer because uh, I know he's doing great work at his football uh, project and just to get his views on what's happening at club uh, and his insight to what he's doing now kind of thing I'd love to do something like that I might have to ask I suppose if you don't ask you don't you don't know dear I'll just offer an invite um, see if he would mind coming on uh, Brian Howard, um, I'd, I'd like to ask him some questions and just ask him uh, questions about uh, did he enjoy his time at Barnsley? Uh, did he wish he ever could have come back? Or would you like to get involved in a setup? Or just generalised questions and not like that's the point you want spot and feel obliged to, but yeah, Bruce Dyer, yeah, Bruce Dyer, mate, yeah. Um, I wondered how many Reds fans have actually had in Sweden. I'd be interested because uh, what I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start tagging, um, start tagging 
Sweden league kind of thing in it. And uh, IFK Govberg, where he used to be before, hoping that some Swedish fans can get on. Or uh, if there's any fans over in Sweden, like a, a, a Swedish based forum, if I can find by that, tag them in it so they, they're aware in it. Because I think if, if, if Poyo comes in and does a great job, I think his reputation will grow over there. So we might get people coming in as well. In Jackson at 68k, you should be able to get some sponsors to help with the cost of running the show. Um, it, yeah, um, I've got to be careful what I say here. What happened under the previous guy, Luke, he did try to put Patreon side uh, where people could contribute. I don't know, I think it was whatever they wanted. I don't think it was a set fee. And people got on saying, oh, no, we're not paying for this, we're not paying for that. And, and uh, some people some people started to go and leave it. So it got it was a bit of a backlash. Um, so I know there's other ones out there that say, Yeah, you can add to Patreon, and I think people like donating out from a pound up to like five pounds and this other. And it, it does help because, like I said, there's all, there's all my software, there's all my equipment and stuff like that. You've had to pay and you know maintain and stuff like that, it's not for free. Uh, but yeah, I get where you're coming from with them. Um, I wouldn't want to be too cheeky, just taking over it and setting up a Patreon and thinking people turn around and say, well, you've only just took over, you're already cashing on money, money side on it kind of thing. But it, whether it's something I look into, I don't know. I just want to try and keep it for fans. But like I say, every, every pound, every penny, what gets donated or out like that. Um, if I did do Patreon side, it just goes towards equipment, i.e. software, uh, microphone and all my other stuff I've had to buy and maintain and, you know, try and get different uh, logos, banners and content and stuff on. So, yeah, I, I appreciate what you're saying, Ian. Uh, it would be nice. It would be nice. Uh, well, go down that road. And, mm, I'd like to, but when again, I don't want to like lose people and uh, get uh, bad, bad uh, feedback on it. But, but, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. Gabriel, isn't Bruce Dye still working at club? General asking, uh, good idea, Neil. Uh, style Army. Uh, he's working in Grindthorpe uh, Love Life Football Academy. Uh, I don't know if he's still got links with the, the club itself, Gabriel, but I do know he's got a, a football academy in Grindthorpe uh, for young kids and stuff like that. Uh, getting back to community, doing a lot of stuff for community and that. So it might be false if I, if I can try and ask. You can see her on all can't you? But just go on just to talk about uh, I think what's happening at the club or a bit about his career and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I've got a lot of time for Bruce where he's been doing with community and, and local community. Good good uh, good player, good uh, bloke as well, good man. Brian, uh, <clears throat> enjoying the show. Uh, oh sorry, enjoying the show. Good to see the show back up and running. Wish you the best of luck in the future. If you want to post in the Barnsley Foreign Legion, you can find us on Facebook. Oh, thank you. I'll Barnsley Foreign Legion. I, I I will make a note of that. I appreciate it so much, Brian. Um, I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, bottom of that, mate. Really appreciate that. Yeah, it all helps. It all helps, and it's just keeping it real for fans. Um, Barnsley Foreign Legion. I appreciate that. A million percent, mate. It just helps us speak content and stuff like that. But if uh, you can post on that, just a, a thing, Barnes of Foreign Legion, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, when this ends, I will uh, look for it then. I appreciate that. Uh, massive, massive uh, thanks for that, uh, Brian. Uh, what about Mick? Mick McCarthy? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to ask Mick McCarthy loads of stuff. Um, Brian Howard. Um, I, you know, I mean, I'm going back to players what I know, such as like Andy Rammel, uh, David Curry, you know what I mean? Cal Tyler, Nicky Eden, Lee Butler. It's oh, endless, endless, endless stuff. Uh, would they want to come on? Luke Steele, would he want, would they want to come on? I suppose I've got, you know what, you give me some, some food for thought here, guys. I'll probably have to uh, try and drop. Uh, some things we if I just approach them and just ask them if I can either 
zero and no, but it would be nice if we could get someone on. It'd be nice. Yeah, so to think about that. Yeah. Brian gives you another opening. Yeah, it certainly does, mate. And I appreciate it. Because we're trying to grow it. We're trying to make it for everybody. Um, and the more we can get, the more it can spread and more content we can keep sharing out and um, different ideas. Like, like I've been saying before to some of us, if you want in early, Brian, doing uh, having different guests on for, if you're up for a, a preview, a one-on-one, -on -one, player reviews, a blast from past reminisce uh, of, a, of a live with that person and then open it out to content as well so your guys can jump on and just have a debate about matches from a bygone era, what means something to you personally, or it could be a memory, what a uh, treasure memory, what you just want to to share. So, yeah, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. I'll probably do, uh, Gabriel, uh, I'd probably do it if you were patrons, some uh, patron like so. Ultimately, though, I'd probably do it if you were patron like. Oh, so you would contribute. All oh, right. Thank you for asking, but appreciate it. Not a problem, Gabriel. Not a problem, mate. Um, all right, so that's interesting then. All right, uh, because some, uh, like I said, over the uh, when uh, Luke did it before, before we took it over, um, I didn't want to have a backlash, um, and I didn't want to do it too soon because I didn't want to be seen as like, oh, you're just not fleecing us, but oh, you're taking money, you're taking money. But, um, oh, that's interesting, man. something to think about. But like I said, I'm not going to, it's probably not even to be considered at this moment in time. Um, but I, I can't see it happening. I can't see it happening. Not anytime soon, anyway, because I'm trying to spread as much as I can. I'm just happy doing what I'm doing at the minute. And if your guys are happy, that's fine. Uh, if you want to donate and sum it off your own bat, off your own accord, then that's that's completely down to yourselves. Uh, I don't want to feel as if I'm putting any pressure on you. And if I set up a Patreon, I'm not gonna, it's not going to be like a school's contract for Patreon members and... Uh, People are just coming on. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just making it for everybody. It's not going to be like, oh, you'll pay this or you're going to have this content and you won't pay, so you're just going to get basic. So, like I say, if you go on, I think there's things in chat where you can like donate. I had, uh, what it, a Luton Town fan? Ian Robertson, he donated to £4.50, I think it was. And he says, hey, uh, hey guys, have a, have, a, have, a, have a drink on me. And I'm like, oh, I appreciate it. I won't expect him back. I'm back from a Luton Town fan. So, like, you know, you don't, re until it pops up, you think, oh, bloody hell, I've been, you know, someone's appreciate that, like, and I don't know him from, you know, from Adam, but he's took that time out to donate it what he wanted. Uh, would you like all their football to come from Spain to work? Well, I think it'd be a bit hard about with West Ham being shut. <laughs> it's going to go away around. <laughs> like, do it Mexican way, but it's not halfway way around, wouldn't it? Um, Hey, look! If if, <laughs> if we get into playoffs, going in for Premier, I, I don't. I think it'll just happen anyway, wouldn't it? I think we'll do bloody cartwheels. I don't know about all there. <laughs> uh, Gabriel, fair deals. Thank you, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Not a problem, mate. Not a problem anytime. Good bloke, is Bruce Diet. Yeah, he is a real good bloke. Gabriel, Clark, patrons are good if you've done correctly. I understand if you want to do it <clears throat> a few years down the line, just something to consider. Yeah, I want to be keeping this on going for ever. Ever and ever. Uh, it's not a short-term thing, this. It's going to be long-term. Uh, that's why I'm looking at uh, all avenues again, different ideas, different content on. So it's not it's not going to be a short, I'm oh, just doing it for a year or two and then that's it. It's just going to be long-term. It's going to go on for forever. You know what I mean? It's for duration. It's um, it's not going to, it's not going to close. It's not going to stop and anytime. So never, never it's not, it's not going to stop. So, Appreciate all that. So comments are slowing down a bit. Been on oh an hour and forty. So it is ten past nine. What I'm going to be doing like, if is uh, I let you all get away to your evenings and stuff like that. Good to hear from you, mate. Oh, good to hear that, mate. Yeah, not a problem. Here for long term. Here for long term. I'm not in for short term. I'm here for long term. And what I want to do, I want to keep it going. Different ideas. Uh, evening, guys. BFC polls yet. Hi, Marcus. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, so, a bit of a recap for Marcus. We've just been on about the manager, on about if it's possible to get uh, celebs on or people what famous, ex-players. I'm going to be looking into that. 
looking into blast from past reviews. Uh, so if a, a member, uh, a subscriber wants to come on and say, no, no problem, mate, not a problem, you're all right. Uh, what I'm going to start doing as well, Marcus, I think uh, uh, if I say to the video like now, I'm going to try, if I can, to get a regular time slot on a on a Friday, 7 o'clock, half past seven-ish, um, just to have a, have a chat, have a chat, have a discussion with people out there. Um, so if I can get a regular time slot, then at least it'd be good to go. Good to go. Yeah, uh, no worries, Marcus. You're probably going to get uh, Welsh Dave and Dale on again at some point, maybe. Yeah, uh, tr trying to get them on. It's just when it fits in, when it uh, when it all works out. Put your Facebook page here, mate. Uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, it is Tykes TV. Uh, Facebook. Uh, need to get a link. I'll try and get a link for you if I can. And uh, just look into that there. So, um, yeah, what it what it is. It's just two minutes. I'm just trying to see if I can find a link. And then I'll copy it and paste it. So, yeah, guys, I'll be able to have a look. So, right, I'm just posting, guys, the Facebook page for Tax TV. Um, oh, you don't mind? There's going to be some stuff on that. Uh, so, yeah, so that's the Facebook page. Sorry, I'm just reading through a comment there. Come down, but it's Brian knows it's going to come back, right? So awesome. Yeah, so we're going to be going. Uh, members are coming up with all sorts of ideas and suggestions and some great ones as well uh, on about having a blast from the past because I was reminiscing a bit about my first game. When it was 87, I found out, I thought it was 86, when it was Barnes versus West Ham in Littlewoods Cup, Milk Cup, I think it was. And we went back down to, uh, yeah, up to Park West Ham, Bowling Ground, and we won 5 2, Beresford and Agnew. Uh, so, yeah, we're just reminiscing about stuff like that. So, trying to get a live stream on where I can be on with another member, whoever wants to talk about their memorable game, whether it be a personal thing or sort of just sticks out like with a fist game or something like that. So that's something different, game members involved. Um uh, but that's just all content just keep on going around because like I've just said to uh Gabriel and that it's not gonna be a short term thing. Got on about Patreon side in it. I don't really want to do it because I know it was set up before kind of thing. A Patreon well or talks about it and what people like against it and all that so for me at this moment in time i'm just wanting to get content out because nothing to be like exclusive for people paying this and paying that and so i just want to keep it all going so the more i can spread it and if people do want to donate in live streams and chat we can click that dollar money pound icon i think because the local town funded it and that's completely down to you it's not it's not me saying anything it's not me forcing out onto you it's it's down to individuals yeah so it's not it's not a thing that i've got to say oh you order this and then you'll get this and you know what i mean so it's just different things what we've been discussed uh, got on about manager i'm going about game so that that raw marcus i was going through back some comments like now because i'm going to wrap it up but we're still going through so i'll keep it going for a bit uh i've done the facebook page in so yeah that's it mate seeing the name marcus makes me think of shop no flashbacks <laughs> <laughs> it's trolling us Marcus shot trolling us um, Brian Ushcroft uh, just a good footnote we have members from all corners of the globe in that oh really maybe have a chat with the lads from Reds all over I'm sure they will give you some advice ah right corners of the globe cool that are all part of them with Sweden thing yeah ah cheers for that Brian thanks mate I'd like to share the stream, by the way, and the channel out there as much as possible in it, 100%. Top man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Gabriel, i never forget playoff game against Melbourne. Bloody hell, what a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotion to play. Yeah, I remember Brian Howard. I was still with my son. Uh, Brian Howard. Oh, I said Brian Howard because I wanted to get Brian Howard on here. I remember Andy, Andy I'm up front at coach. And if it, I, bloody disco jive in the front of coaching football, the rest of the players coming in into Wembley. 
because we've been for a few drinks and we come walking to the ground and literally saw Millwall um, double decker bus come in with fans. And then Barnes, of course, came in. And I'm a lot, obviously, I didn't suit him up, but he had his jacket off. And his vein is like, my headphones is like proper dancing and boogieing away. And I'm like, we're about to go into a final here. And he's, but that's the atmosphere, that's what it were all about, wasn't it? You know what I mean? It was, it were relaxed. I'm thinking, I hope we're, <laughs> oh, seriously, we're going to add a trap pitch with the Wembley final. And it paid off. Squid a eight goal. Good performance and all, yeah. Happy to all. Memories of that. Something else we can go back on, innit? Marcus, uh, sorry guys, lol. Don't know what you're saying. Sorry for. But, yeah, it's cool. Uh, Chris, free total to, free to, to miles tomorrow. Oh, you're right, Chris. Um, I've gone for 2 2. Uh, but I'm. Hey, I'd take free two. I think what I've got to uh, take into account as well is that I think their last outing was 7 0, wasn't it? Against Blackburn, Fulham's, Mitrovic had a blinder. Uh, it's going to be interesting, I think, tomorrow with team lineup and uh, formation. I think a lot will determine if uh, Joe Lauman had been allowed to go to his own device or whether there's any, any input. It'd be very interesting to see that. But yeah, hey, I'd, I'd take that all day long, mate. I'm, I thought I would be an optimistic saying a 2 2 draw, a draw, but I'll take 3 2. I just hope it's it. <laughs> I just hope we don't uh, go free. Well, I say, go, I hope we go 3 0 up and they come back uh, 3 2. You know what I mean? Oof, squeaky bum time that one, wasn't it? Uh, Max, I will also. RT, sort your stuff on the. Is that sort of boss moment? I'm not really sure, Marcus. I will also retweet or some RT. Sorry, I'm still learning this, mate. Uh, your stuff on BF Pulse too. Appreciate it. Any any help I can get doing this and spreading it out, I appreciate a million percent, guys. I really do. So any help you can do, I really appreciate. I just want to get out to as many as I can. I uh, really do. Uh, Chris. I watched Barnes away when we were going on Tuesday night. Really? Ah. Oh, it just delays that. Uh, Scoff tomorrow, full on one, bound to two. Ultra positive. If you don't, that's what it's all about, mate, isn't it? It's all going to be a mindset. And that, you know, when you think about it, them players out there, I know they should be doing it every game, but them players what's going down there, how many of them are going to be wanting to prove a point for new gaffer? I know we should be doing it anyway, you know what I mean? But it gives you that bit of an incentive. And I think the game against Derby was more, more an expression, an expressional win in, in terms of that Mark Shop had gone. I so thought players were like a big ball and chain had been released from him. Because remember, we went one note down and we ended up two winning, uh, winning 2 1. So I know like the road is looking last 10 minutes, but uh, we need some luck, don't we? Jesus, we need some luck. Uh, Gabriel, I was like his grow as a player. It was great to see him when he scored against Millwall, like his face when he saw his he had scored a high quality. It's small span up pitch and managed to do that. It was a shame about his grove, yeah. He was a good player, um, but then he got injury ravaged, didn't he? And it, he was never the same. Um, it was were, it were a shame because I think he was a tricky little player. Uh, I expect stations coming from Southampton. Um, never really worked when he came back, did it? Never really worked, which was a shame for lad because I liked him as a player, I liked him as a player a lot. And yeah, <laughs> small one of the smallest players on pitch, and they scored like that. I think everybody was like, Who oh, scored it? <laughs> Looking for man on pitch, but yeah, hey, we could do with that one tomorrow and take that uh, performance tomorrow. Uh, as long as we, okay, Bill, as long as we win, I hope. A win, I'd take a draw. At this moment in time, I'd take a draw against Fulham. Um, but yeah, obviously, always wanting to win. Always wanting to win. But if you come, come away with a draw, I don't think it'd be a bush result ever. A, a draw, my, my own opinion. A 90th minute winner off the arse would be nice. Yeah, I'd take it off the arse, off a toe ender, a miss kick or out at this moment in time. I'd take that all day long. A win. I'd do... I'd do, Neil... How are you doing, bud? 
Uh, Wayne, you're right, mate. Uh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, how's yourself? Um, going to be knocking up an hour and 50 minutes, so probably call it about 12 hour mark, and then that'll be enough time for everybody to go off for the rest of the evening and chill out and uh, watch me with a video where I put up with Craig about preview for tomorrow. Remember that, guys. Uh, go on Tykes TV again. Yeah. Uh, and look up over preview uh, what me and Craig did about full and tomorrow. And a bit of a recap uh, uh Craig's thoughts about the manager. Uh, he's got a bit more stats on him what he's done back in Sweden. So a bit of a good watch. If you don't mind me plugging my own stuff, so all good, mate. All good. Uh, I don't mind Fulham as a club, uh, to be honest. If you go up with season, fair play, got some good players. We have, yeah. Um, a bit of a shame we've Scott Parker. Let's see what he's doing at Bournemouth at this moment in time. Uh, but yeah, we've just got that new stand getting built or getting built. So yeah, uh, a traditional traditional uh, side as well, traditional ground as well. So like that little cottage thing down there, traditional. It's... It's getting rare in this game, modern day, and uh, keeping traditional things so like that heritage as well. I like to see stuff like that. Uh, Chris, uh, we're feeling all down at half time and Barnes won 4 3 at Wimbledon. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. 4 3 at 3 0 down, yeah. Comeback Kings, comeback Kings. That's what fighting spirit's all about, wasn't it? Fighting spirit, confidence, and belief in it, self belief. Ethan. Do you remember John Stones at Barnsley? Yeah, I do. I do remember John Stones. I remember players before him as well, mate. Um, like I've just been saying, Steve Agnew, John Beresford, David Curry, Lee Butler, Clyde Baker, Futcher, Paul Futcher, Ron Futcher. Uh, yeah, some great players, some great players. But yeah, I do remember John Stones, mate. Uh, Brian. I think we'll get our backsides kit tomorrow. 5 0 for them. Sorry to say, I'm praying wrong, but firmly waiting in flat. Yeah, uh, it's all your opinion, isn't it? It, it? That's what it's all about. I think we're being optimistic and going for a draw or going for a win. Uh, but like I said, you look at uh, Fulham, uh, Mitrovic, I mean, Mitch is he's a Premiership player in here. Mitrovic is class, class as always out on him. And again, it all depends how you set up. Is it if it's been set up how we won against uh Ull, then pff, you just can't defend against stuff like that. You need to be on it and we need to be taking it to him. We need to give him a game, we need to be in the faces. So it'd be interesting to see if uh Joe's gonna be like under his own devices as such to manage that, or whether he's had a bit of his own chat with Rester, the new regime, the new setup, uh to let him allow to do what he's got to do. It'd be interesting to see it line up. Gabriel, uh, I'll watch a uh, preview tonight. Like and share some of the video too, of course. Like it when Craig uh, comes on, good guy. Top man, yep. Yeah. Uh, others are as well, all top all top guys. Uh, appreciate it, Gabriel. Yep, yeah. if you don't mind, it all helps me and helps the channel and keeps content going as well. Mm -hmm. Wayne, champion bud, thanks. Good to hear you. Keep him well, Neil. Thanks, appreciate it, Wayne. Um, good that you're all, all good. Uh, just a recap on some stuff if you missed out on it is that we're open to expand it and get uh, different people in here for a preview doing uh, player ratings blast from past memories on a on a live stream uh, me and whoever wants to come on and go through all that uh, not a problem uh, it's really for long term it's not going to be a short term thing this it's a long term project it's never ever going to end not while I'm alive anyway it's all going to keep going uh, and it was always looking for ideas and new new ways to keep the channel improving. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, agree. Uh, sorry, this is from Gable. Yeah, agree. Perhaps uh, Arsenal Scott Parker. We're good to see him doing well at Bournemouth now. Yeah, another good young English, English manager. Uh, you look at Eddie Howe, took on a massive role at Newcastle. So it's all, you know, it's all good. I think it's just like get, being given a chance. Did Scott Parker decide that it was time for a move? He, he could do as far as he could do at Fulham. Uh, maybe so. Maybe he wanted a fresh challenge, a new challenge. And it looks like he's found his niche at Bournemouth. It's fitted well. He, and I think sometimes you find that with, with managers, head coaches, if you want to call them. Uh, they just go to a club and they just seem to fit in and they just seem, seem to click. And it's nice to see that. So all, all pleased for Scott Parker. Uh, John, Stars, John Stones can come back and... Uh, and slab as they are not playing with a club. <laughs> Would you imagine John Stones on loan? 
you know, to cup his, his wage budget for the next five years, I think. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, class player, isn't he? Class player. We're just going to show a bonus of a talent, what, uh, you know, what we've just been on about via Premier League, bonus of the players, what we've got via, it's like talent, it's unbelievable. But again, it's way structure what will end up. You can't compete with stuff like that, can you? I mean, we've got Vita on loan from Bayern Munich, and he's not even again a, a looking a looking on on pitch. All being well, it might change now. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it's players like that, unbelievable talent, talent. Gabriel, I thought we played better against Stull, To be honest, disappointing result that. Um, I think we did for the first 10, 15 minutes, but it, it was same, same old, same old. It was a final third, final third, but taking chances. And when, you know, when all take two chances and we score, it's like, that's the difference. you got to take your chances. You can't keep creating and missing, creating and squandering, creating and missing, creating. It comes back to bite you. And like I say, um, if you don't if you don't take that, if you don't take your chances, you're gonna just get penalised for it. You're gonna get penalised for it. So unfortunate, but we move on and obviously new player in charge, it's new 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 direction. So it's just your send downs, don't dwell on it, pick your send up, full them tomorrow, no challenge and fresh start and go for it. Start all over again, don't we? I don't think there's an international Brett now all well, four month, three, four month. So it's just fixtures now, domestic fixtures and obviously FA Cup. So that's going to be interesting, isn't it? Yeah, fixture congestion. <laughs> hmm, yeah. Uh, Ethan, okay, that is fine. And I'm going to hopefully get to Westron at home and maybe get Nottingham away. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to be hopefully going going to West Brom at home and maybe going to Nottingham. Oh, that's where you're going to be going, Sorry, man. Brom. Not a problem. No problem. Um, I hope you enjoy and stuff like that. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry, not much problem. Yeah, no problem. Gabriel, Graham Potts is very underrated uh, management. Yeah, Gabriel, uh, Gabriel, we're a fan from Sweden. And he spoke highly of Graham Potter because he had a stint in Sweden, I don't believe Graham Potter. And uh, he said that Poya and uh, Graham Potter were very highly rated in Sweden. So, which, you know, I'd take that all day long. If if they, if they regard him and rate him as, as decent managers over there, then good good insight. Uh, young forward, Lewis Potter, was impressive with all I thought, yeah, when we played them. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it, it, and it's all confidence again, isn't it? If we take the chances, we're going to score. It's simple as that. And we can create as many as we want, but if we're not putting ball back in there, and that's been as a killer zeal, and it's proved it in stats this season. You know, we, we're just not clinical enough. And that's where you've got to be. Again, it, new manager in charge now is going to address all that. We'd like to think so. And reevaluate it and get his own way of thinking on it. Might be getting ball in box, getting ball in box quicker. That bodes well for uh, Papa Ivan, if he can be like, let's like so he comes through and pitch aside. Yep, agree. Totally agree. Uh, they need to get stuck in and let Fulham know they are a game. Far too many times this season we've allowed them to teams to bully us, but we allow them to think exactly, exactly, Brian. Yeah, we need to get in the face and make them comfortable. Then not let them play their game, make them comfortable for Mitrovic, but not do all silly like a foul and uh, you know pick up an early well one of the defenders pick up an early yellow card because then you're going to be like what's going to happen here and it depends on uh, referee as well so yeah thanks Brian Dave and Salam uh, good day Neil keep up the good work and thanks for com- for your commitment to Taxi we appreciate it all the way from Brisbane wow really Brisbane I think you've got to be my most furthest away people I've been on I appreciate it thank you so much I thank everybody who's been on this uh, live stream but Brisbane wow Thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, well, I don't know what to say then. I'm a bit blown away. Brisbane, thank you. Thank you for joining. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks for taking your time out. And uh, if you can understand my 
accent, sorry, uh, a bit broad, Barnsley Yorkshire, <clears throat> but appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you subscribe to the channel and uh, watch some more content and that. Uh, be interested to see or hear from you uh, in future what team you are. You a Barnsley fan, or have you just stumbled across the channel? Uh, any viewers, or, you know, anything uh, in Brisbane? Appreciate that. Uh, David Salam, thank you. Uh, in Jackson, have you got a uh, new coach songs yet? Uh, be interesting to see what happens at Ponty and uh, on t -t 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 Wednesday against Swansea. See what happens with that. Um, I think we're all waiting to see how what his name gets actually pronounced. Maybe we might come up with a, um, a song. So it'd be interesting, but yeah, it'd be interesting. But Dave and Sal Lamb, we, uh, we understand you very well. We are Barnes experts. All right. <laughs> It makes it a bit easy for me. <laughs> I don't get that like, stressed out and thinking I've got to like pronounce something. Oh, great. <laughs> At least you understand me. That's my thing. But I appreciate that. Uh, all the way from Brisbane. Um, wow. A bit underwhelmed with that because I wasn't expecting that. I think, yeah, you're furthest. The people from Sweden, obviously, but new head coach coming in, but uh, all the way from Brisbane. Mm, very good. Oh, weather's all right down here anyway. A lot better than what it is here now anyway. For, uh, winter, so yeah, oh, you're yeah, having a good time, uh, all good, all good. So, yeah, we've been on two hours now. Wow, two hours, time flies. I'm just glanced up there. Uh, so I just want to thank you. I'm going to be closing it down now. I'm sorry about this, Dave and Sal. Uh, but you can go back on video if you want, I've come up with some great ideas from uh, members on here. Uh, anything from like uh, blast from past reviews from memorable games. I'll do a, um, a a live stream where it's me plus that other person, and I'll just obviously ask you uh, why this particular game, blah blah blah, uh, and it could be anything. It could be your first game, most memorable memorable game, a game that means so much, or it was just a, a game that stings, stands out for so many memories. It could be a Premier League game. It could be anything, sixties, seventies, eighties. Don't matter what year year it is. It's just a, um, a reminisce. On about getting people into a preview, engaging in people such as uh, like everybody on here, uh, doing player ratings, uh, just general news and views and opinions and banter from any clubs in championship, uh, just getting talking and, and and having a good a good banter, a good crack. It's all good. Uh, take care, Neil. Thanks for all your hard work keeping the channel going. Appreciate it, Wayne. And like I said to each and every one of you, what's been in this chat, if you want to watch it back or if you're still in live now, because if you're in, uh, everyone is uh, bottoming me out. I thank you all. Uh, it means so much to me. Um, keeping Tykes TV going as long as I can. It's, it's never, it's not going to be a short term. I think it's going on forever and ever and ever. Uh, so any new ideas, any new uh, people's opinions or like that, just message me. Uh, Facebook, direct message me, all you want to do, just keep the, uh, keep it coming, and I'll get back to you, uh, uh, you know, all your comments and that as much as I can, I appreciate, uh, appreciate each and every one of you on here, I really do, bottom of my heart, uh, take care, thanks, Brian, at the beginning of the season, I predict 19th place, don't think we'll be relegated, to the I've seen anything, I don't think we'll be relegated, to be fair, mate, uh, what I've heard at new coach, which uh, I suggest you go and watch on the official website. But after this, a bit of a plug after this, if you watch my preview with Craig about full and game tomorrow, it gives a bit of stats about Poye. Make can watch on the official site. Thank you. Just a bit of a plug for mine. Uh, but yeah, I don't think, I think the squad that we've got add to a bit of quality. It'll be good enough uh, to stop up. And then next season, it's a matter of for the uh, new head coach Poye to assess the squad in full and then make the change where necessary. This season is all about keeping us up. Uh, this season, whether it be some short-term loan deals or not like that, it's keeping us up. Um, and the board's got to back him. We, we, we as fans have got to back him, obviously, but the board has, in turn have got to also back him. Uh, so, yeah, spot on, Brian. Uh, Ian Jackson, Azubaggio, Azubaggio. It could be. It could be. Uh, testicles. <laughs> Good, good. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. I don't know why. Sorry, Tess. Uh, hey, good luck for tomorrow, lads. Thank you. Appreciate that. We really, uh, Gabriel, we really could uh, be mid table side players. You That's what it's all about. New manager in charge. He's coming in. He's going to assess it. 
they'll sort it all out um and it'll be all good don't worry about it it'll be all good There's plenty of points to play for i believe keep the faith testicles believe you will stay up thank you Tess. oh you well no no oh i know but you're gonna be right yeah catch you later neil really enjoy the show see you in the legion later i will uh it's barnsley foreign legion i will get straight on that as soon as i've done this appreciate it brian thank you for all your guys and girls what are in here means a lot i'll try and do it every friday it's about the same time half seven if we're all good and it all fits us uh time schedules and stuff like that and we'll just have a banter we'll have a reminisce and we'll I'll, in the meantime, if anybody wants to message me uh, about you do it reminiscing or coming on as a, as a live stream, drop us some links, drop us some messages. I'll, I'll answer you. We're all good, aren't we? Uh, Gabriel, let's hope it does it. Uh, Ishmael turns things up. I think he will. It comes across as a decent bloke. Come on, your Reds. Bye for now, Ian. You Reds. Uh, Gabriel, I'll be best in all. Uh, cheers. See you later. Appreciate you all. One thing to say. Bye. Bye. Bye, enjoy the parallel. I will do, mate. I will do, mate. I'll finish that off. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, appreciate you all. You're all stars. I've got massive respect for each and every one of you. Come on, you Reds. <laughs>